Yeah, just when I make here. Uh, just when I make and Swenson's mowing and grounds maintenance. Just out for a bit of a uh, little cruise in the uh, GQ. She's been a wet day today. Started off with a bit of an old stiff back this morning. Chainsaw in that yesterday, and I'll be honest with you, as you get older, uh, it, it becomes pretty hard to do. Like I can do it, but I end up the next day with a back that I'm just about flat out walking with. So obviously, I'm concentrating on my. Uh, just going down past my only dairies here. Um, concentrating on my mowing and that because it's a little bit easier on the old bod. So here we are, heading along McCarthy's, McCarthy's Road, named after an old pioneering family, obviously, the McCarthy's. My Uncle Albert passed away about four years ago. Um, oh, actually, my whole family used to work for my grandfather, for McCar Joe McCarthy, I think it was, and that would have been in the 1950s, I would say. 1950s, that house that they we're living in on share farming is still still exists it's been moved it's now a double house it's out on Mountain View Road now coming up this intersection now what I'm doing here is I'm turning left and I'm heading towards Maloney um, oh geez look at the traffic would you um, look at this little town here when I was growing up you'll see all these trees here all these trees that are in view, there are absolutely none of them here. Absolutely none. And uh, so uh, this is all, there's an old retainer wall there that's been there ever since I was a kid. And I don't know, it's, it's starting to fall down now, heavy timber sleeper retainer wall. Um, I could see that from North Mullaney, the North Mullaney property, which I'll just head out past now. And uh, no, so yeah, all these trees here, this is a 60 kilometer hour. So this is coming into the township of Mullaney. This is what you're greeted with. It's a beautiful place. Um, and it's as green as green as green and the grass, it's one of the biggest mowing seasons. I've been mowing grass here for, in this area for over 20 years now. Oh, longer than that, but as a, as a profession for over 20 years and I've never, seen more grass than what we've got now um, just went past a local identity that used to race motorbikes on the global on the global stage he's obviously in having a swim doing a bit of training still does I won't say names but you see him on television a fair bit on on pay TV commentating um, look at this here. Oh, <laughs> well, that lad's got some tattoos on. But um, we've got a new service station being built opposite the primary school there. And what am I doing here? Oh, the little town, the little town. It's always a busy little joint. Um, so what I'm going to do is go up around here like look at chewing his cud in that focus ambos couple of ambos oh look there's a beautiful BAFG falcon up there you bloody good cars getting fewer and far between now seeing less and less so we're heading up here Teak Street as I used to call this post post office hill posty hill so she's a she's a good little pull. She's just peeled back to second gear in the auto, and I'm heading up the hill. And as you notice here in Australia, we drive on the left. Uh, we we got right hand steer, and opposite to America, opposite sides of the road to the US. Um, I like this way, but then again, that's the only way I've ever driven, so I don't know any better or any different. Now, we're coming out North Mullaney here. So, all these trees on you see on the right hand side here, they didn't exist 20 years ago. None of this. Oh, not even, nowhere near that. 15 years ago, they didn't exist. 
Now, all has uh, all been planted out down there, which I've shown you. They didn't exist 15 years ago. Probably 10 years ago they didn't exist. So we're coming out here. I used to, uh, all this on the left is the same. There was no trees, no trees whatsoever out here. It was all farming land, all bare. You wouldn't believe it, but it was. So it had gone from being rainforest to farming land. Now it's getting back, not planted with oh, some rainforest trees. Here's where I grew up here, just on the left-hand side of this old house. This was the old Swenson property, that old joint. There used to be a hive of activity there. My dad had trucks and my mum and dad and had a thriving cartage and timber haulage and contracting business and um, brick cartage and timber, sawn timber cartage and grain cartage and um, up until, and then dad into bulk concrete and bulk concrete, bulk cement, sorry. And then last full size truck he had was an agitator working for contract as a contractor to um, sellers they were a big big cement mob they've folded I don't know who bought them out oh they've been bought out they fold they just get bought out here in Australia um, so we, we're heading down to down um, towards the golf course like I say all still beautiful beautiful properties beautiful properties look at that Australian flag flying. Oh, if we had the indigenous flag under that, it'd be perfect. The Aboriginal flag and the Australian flag flying together. Good stuff, good stuff. So what we're doing here now is we're heading down and we're gonna turn in towards the golf course. Beautiful, picturesque golf course here. Not in the golf, it's the old Porters, Porters and Armstrong property. And you can go back further through history, but when I was growing up, Armstrong's dairy farmed all this area. And I'll actually go for a bit of a drive around and show you this. Holy hell, they put a cut in there. That must be another hole going in. Now, this here's Padamore House. It was one of the original, the original farm families here, Padamore's. Uh, related to the the Carberries are related to them. The Carberries are still up here. Vince Carberry was school teacher when I was growing up. Now here we are. We've got a, a little cat dozer there. Looks like a D3 or a D4 or some bloody thing. Conventional track. I didn't even know they still made them. Oh yes, another hole going in there. Oh, little digger over here. Oof. Laney Golf Course. Little buggies here, look at this. Look at that picturesque. Oh, there's people even still playing in the rain. Oh, they're keen. I'd say they might be mad. <laughs> and there's a little Kubota digger here. Four tonner, or thereabouts. I'm surprised they've not got that barrier off. And uh, this Padamore house here on the left, it's a, um, it's now, it's a, a, the whole place is of historical significance. And just see, that's a red cedar tree we're looking straight at there in the open. And just to the uh, northern end of it, there's a burn pit. Now a burn pits when they used to do pit sawing. And you can still see the in, in, indentation there. They've left that. Um, it's not much of an indentation. I'm surprised that they've left it there, but they have. I suppose that's of historical significance. Um, so anyway, what we're heading down here now, we're heading towards Porter's Farm. Now this was, they were, they're still here. There's the old dairy there. Steve Porter's there now. Known him for years. What have you got going on here? Restructuring work. Must be down in here somewhere. So we're just heading around now. Oh, great horny toadies. Oh, I'm just giving you a grand tour of Mullaney. Didn't go up the main street. Like I said, I went up Teague Street. And now heading, this is all Porter's farm. Charlie Porter, young Charlie. I knew him as, growing up. He lived up the road from us. Steve Porter's his son. And then Steve's got, I've got, I think, three kids, two daughters and a son. Oh, look at the bitumen peeling off here. Whew. So what we're doing now is we're heading around 
big fig tree and when I was on council we used to brush cut around this bloody thing and now looking at it looks like they've mulched it I don't get the I just don't get the amount of farting around they do around these trees now they've spread pretty fresh wood chip around it I probably wouldn't do that but anyway but uh, only right out far further I'm just going to around there it is there it's a big fig tree but um yeah there's your grand tour of a little part of the Maloney Maloney area and a little a tiny bit of history I've given you and uh I used to get the um little dingo in there and spread mulch but I think they've cut all that on the head and now it's all hand hand spread by the looks of that but um yes a small leafed fig and he's a big one a fair size they'll probably only be another X amount of years and they'll just drop on his guts like they all do they split out and they just drop all their limbs and fall in a heap but I'm going to leave it that that's 7 minutes and 13 seconds so that's when I make and that's looking back towards town there's the Obi board Obi um, walk meanders along the Obi creek here you can see like I said all these trees here all were not here when I was growing up that's the back of an estate on north off North Maloney Road and yes all these trees a whole lot all planted up within the last definitely not not 15 years and all around the creek that used to be all just Porter's Farm farming land and I'm gonna leave that Swin o Mick from Swenson's little YouTube Swin o Mick YouTube site that I enjoy doing but I haven't been doing that many lately I think I'm up to 730 or 830 short vlogs. Swinomick out.